What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today we're going to be doing another Season 8 kind of death predictions video uh, leading up to uh, Season 8, which is going to return in October. Also, uh, later on today, I'm going to do another character spotlight video, so look out for that. But uh, this is going to be a video talking about uh, a death that happens in The Walking Dead all out war story arc that should be in The Walking Dead Season 8, and this is from Issue 124, Chapter 10 of 12. Of All Out War, there is a death in this issue that has, uh, it's basically a character death of a character that's already been killed off in the TV series that we're going to talk about who could take this death. Because this death could not be just skipped, I don't feel like. So, I do have the, uh, the single issue that actually occurs, uh, the death, which is, I mean, awesome for this video. So, uh, that is amazing. Um... But, uh, anyway, so, basically, in The Walking Dead issue 124, we do get the death of Nicholas in the comic book series. In the TV series, we saw him die from, uh, the, uh, you know, the dumpster and all that stuff. You guys remember, I'm sure. Um, basically, what happens is, is that Negan forces Dwight to shoot a arrow, um, a, well, a bolt, uh, bolt, uh, or bolt from a, a crossbow. And uh, he's basically forced to shoot it through Rick. Now, it actually does occur. Uh, occur. And what we see is uh, Nicholas, who's carrying Rick into the house, uh, because he, they're not sure if Rick's going to make it. And he almost doesn't, too. Um, and it's, it's Nicholas that's carrying him into the house. Then we see these two savior guys, and one of them has a knife, and it basically comes right through Nicholas and cuts him in the back to the point where he drops Rick, then this guy's about to kill Rick. Then we see uh, this guy gets shot by uh, Carl right here. And, uh, yeah, so Carl kills that guy and that was about to kill Rick. And then uh, Gregory brings Rick into the house, uh, the Barrington house, to see if Rick can survive if he has a chance. And then we basically see Nicholas kind of on the bed and he's dying and he's saying his, uh, saying his goodbye. So basically, he dies saving Rick's life. That's basically what happens. Now, how could, I mean, what character could they use for that? They can't obviously use Nicholas. He was killed off uh, in season six, which I actually did not think he would have died there, to be honest with you. That was a complete shock. I had no idea Nicholas was going to die when he said thank you. When I saw the gun, I was like, no, he's not going to do it. And then you saw the blood splatter on Glenn. I was like, kidding me? You know, because I, I was like, no, but you know, he's, he's only going to die in a, uh, in a couple more seasons, right? I thought Nicholas would have survived a lot longer in a TV show, but he didn't. So, who could take this death? Who, okay, who would be the character that would actually uh, sacrifice their life and die for Rick Grimes? Who would that be? Um, who would that be? I mean, to be honest with you, I could see somebody like Daryl, um, but th this is why I don't think it's going to be Daryl. He's too popular to just die like that. So I don't think uh, we'll, we will see that. But could we see somebody very close to Rick be the one that, that takes this death? Because this is important, I would definitely say. This, is, this means that the character who takes this death is willing to die for Rick. I mean, that is just crazy. And honestly, I'm not going to keep this video too long because I'm going to just narrow it down to a couple people. I could see, to be honest with you, I could see Morgan dying this way. Uh, I really could because, you know, saying his goodbyes, um, getting stabbed like that. We've known Morgan forever. He told Rick what was going on. If we see him die like this, I would, I actually would support the death. If we saw Morgan laying in the bed and we saw all these clips and flashbacks of when he first met Rick and when his son knocked him out, and I could definitely see that, man. I could definitely see that. Maybe Rick goes crazy and he just, he, he loses it because he knew Morgan so well. I could see that happening. So, I can't see Daryl, even though I think Daryl would do that. But I just, he's too popular. But Morgan, he's been around long enough, I would say. I've been thinking he's going to die this season. And I think this is the way they could have him go out. Maybe they could have him go out 
in a different way. Because you remember Tyrese didn't take his comic death. He survived uh, about a... Well, Herschel did, right? Uh, but he survived about an extra season or so ahead. Well, this could be almost like Morgan. Because Morgan died in, all, in uh, No Way Out, if I'm not mistaken, in the comics. Well... If we see Morgan die, uh, you know, a little later on, this kind of reminds me of the Tyrese thing, right? So, we'll have to see. We'll definitely have to see, but I'm not going to be surprised if, if it is Morgan. So, what I'm saying is I think it's going to be Morgan, but it could be somebody else uh, as well. So, anyway, guys, make sure to write your comments below. Could it be Ezekiel? Could it be anybody else? Who could it be? Could it, I would definitely say it has to be somebody major. More than in the comics. I feel like the death will be more impactful in the TV, sh uh, TV series version. So, anyway guys, I'll see you guys for another Walking Dead video really soon.